Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jenfi, has characterized the trial involving uh, Cassius Labi, the Communications Officer of the Ewusu Senya West constituency, along with two other individuals. As observed, now his remarks follow the decision of the Ewusu Briku Courts to grant the three individuals bail on their own recognizance. Now, Central Regional Correspondent Osu Akwesiado uh, captured the story. The Awutu Breku District Court, presided over by her leadership Naomi Konto, granted a self-recognized bill to the three NDC members with a surety of 2,000 Ghana cities each. However, the demand of the Ghana cast of the trio as a basis for their final release by the police caused tension at the court premises as leadership of the NDC demanded their immediate release. National Communications Officer of the party, Sami Jemfi, described the trial as an attempt to call the NDC members questioning the decision of the MPP to affix Eugene Ahin's posters on the drip machines while preventing the incumbent MP, Gisela Tete, from doing same. This arrest should not have happened in the first place. This arrest is nothing but madness, simple, because those equipment those drip equipment in connection are state assets bought with our taxpayers money and so if the mpp says honorable gizelle's posters cannot be affixed to those equipment even though she is the elected seven member of parliament for this constituency then how much a common parliamentary candidate of the new patriotic party eugene are here how can he have his posters on a state asset. And if a responsible citizen boldly desires to remove that poster from that state asset, it should be applauded. Members of the party, following the release of the communications officer and two others, took to the streets of Ewutu Breku to jubilate. MP Gisela Tete charged the NDC members to work even more harder for the victory, stating that the matter was blown out of proportion. Now, NDC for one person. As some can come, maybe a wild blown up out of proportion. It's one person, one to move for one to move for there. Yeah, we're doing it. We have to clear the elephant from them and send them back into the bush. I would just know that one time we are breaking this jinx. Meanwhile, the new patriotic party insists that the trial and subsequent remanding of the three NDC members were not necessarily influenced by the distortion of posters, but rather the threatening of an eyewitness who spotted them while in the act. They are, however, concerned about the destruction of its billboards and posters of the parliamentary candidate Eugene Ahe and presidential candidate Mahmoud Baumea. On Thursday, there was a court issue which led to the remand of uh, NDC constituency communications officer uh, into police custody. Uh, afterwards, the information being powdered about, led by our Honorable MP, Madame Gisela, Tete and the NDC constituency chairman, Captain Anderson, is that our parliamentary candidate, Mr. Eugene Kofi Bentum Ahim, is behind their uh, remand uh, in the sense that to them, they believe that uh, their people uh, removed our posters that led to their arrest. And we have called this press conference this afternoon to um, debunk that false information that they are being, uh, that they are, they are being powdered about.